Today we're doing a service on a Nissan Navara. It's a uh, 2010 model. It's got the uh, the D well the D40 model, 2.5 litre turbo diesel in it, and the transmission's a five-speed, the RE5R05A. It's also known as the JR507E transmission. So the owner's had it uh, for a while, a few years never had a service done on it and he's um, mentioned that it's getting pretty sluggish uh, pulling his van up up hills so we're just gonna I've just taken it for a road test and um, it's a bit sluggish even without anything on it um, selecting first gear and just taking off hard there's a bit of a flat spot there but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a transmission service and have a look inside uh, what's floating around in the pan. Okay, now these are one of the transmissions that do actually have a dipstick. And it's located down there, right down there where you can see where my finger is. A bit hard to see there with this camera. Um, yeah. And there's a 10mm 10, 10 bolt on it holding the dipstick in so we're just going to take that 10 mil bolt off and just check the oil level first before we do any other work on it so we're just going to do a quick scan of it and just see uh, if there's any fault code showing up you can see he's done well we can't focus on he's done 223,800 kilometers. We'll just do a quick scan on it. So it's showing there's no code stored. We'll just do the other scan on it. And there we go. It's a it's a vehicle specific code, not a generic code. So we'll just have to look it up on the computer. PO782. Sorry, I meant uh, PO732. Just going to suck the oil out through the dipstick there, or the filler tube. Um, just makes it a little bit less messy. But um, as we've explained in previous videos, um, you just have to carefully, if you haven't got a vacuum pump, um, you just have to lower one end of the transmission pan to get the oil out of it. Or use the drain plug bolt. Just going to check the oil level just before we take the oil out as well. So, a little bit tight fit there anyway. You can see he's actually got a little bit too much in there, but the oil condition looks okay. Still got that yellowy tinge to it, and there's no burnt smell. So, we'll just go ahead and uh, suck the oil out and take the pan off. The uh Nissan bulletin here um, on the code PO732 um, which is basically it's uh, the sensor sensing um, a slip in second gear so there are a few things that can cause that um, the oil condition has been serviced for a while can be contaminated so we're going to um, it just it seems to be driving okay just a bit sluggish so we're just going to go through and uh, do the service anyway drop the pan on it now if you didn't have a vacuum pump you'd drain the oil out of this plug here just um, makes a little bit less messy and a little bit safer especially if you're doing it on the ground so we're just going to clean the pan rail there uh, with a wire brush and blow it out and just drop that pan and here we've got the uh, the ATSG se seminar uh, handout um, or the information which solenoids are doing what in the transmission so it may be contaminated or the o-rings hardened and it's leaking a little bit um, so we'll just um, hope that that's the problem the customer doesn't want to spend any money on it 
um, but ideally you'd have to drop the valve body um, to get to these solenoids here um, sometimes especially at 220,000 the the o-rings flatten out or they harden and those solenoids can't work as effectively also the uh, the coils inside the solenoids can become contaminated um, and even earth out against the, the side of it um, not operate correctly and here we've got the uh, ATSG manual and it just shows you which um, things are applied in all the different um, gears which are coming on it is a quite a complicated transmission to follow um, and you can also see at the bottom it says that the torque converter clutch is applied fourth and fifth gears depending on the temperature and the throttle, throttle position and the vehicle speed so he has complained that it, um, it jumps in and out of gear under um, a hill um, towing, towing his van up a hill um, so it can even be that torque converter clutch solenoid um, playing up and one other thing that gets uh, contaminate, contaminated in these are the pressure switches um, they're much similar to the GM pressure switches um, all that fine metal gets accumulated in there and uh, the switch won't work as effectively um, so it is important to keep the transmission as clean as you can um, to do regular servicing on it um, so that uh, the fine metal doesn't sort of become um, trapped in these little ports um, so it is attracted to the magnets that are in the pan and you can see the magnets got a fair bit of fine metal in there as well now these have a internal um, inhibitor switch and the transmission control modules inside as well if you're doing any major electrical work or replacement of the valve body um, these transmissions you've got to take them back to the dealer and they'll um, reprogram the transmission as well so just be aware of that um, if you're doing any valve body exchange or changing the, the modules there so we're just going to take the filter off and do the service on this one the oil is pretty pretty dark and contaminated um, yeah, like the owner mentioned he hasn't serviced it ever um, only the, the dealership services and they don't actually do any servicing on these so we'll go ahead and do that now these transmissions have um, very similar in the Kias and the Hyundai's as well and you can see that the filter actually arrived in a Hyundai uh, packaging so I believe there are three I haven't done a service on a Hyundai on one of these um, just on the Navara's but I believe there are two other types of filters as well. Um, one of them oh, um, is plastic and the two other ones are metal. So just make sure you compare the, um, the new filter with the old one before you put it on as well. Got the pan there and you can see the little dimples where um, the magnets were sitting on. I'm actually going to just put it on that dimple and on that little rib there just so that magnet can work top and bottom um, if there's dirty oil and fine metal floating around it can get attracted to the bottom side and I'll do the same over here um, it's just important to just make sure it's not in the way of anything um, especially the selector linkage or the filter when you put that on the little um, hose straps back in and while we're under here we're just gonna take off this just check the diff oil oh, the diff the transfer case fluid level while we're up here sweeping out of that hole so it's good it's at the right level and we're just gonna put uh, 
this Tri-Tec uh, full synthetic fluid in it. Um, you can see it handles the Nissanmatic fluid J, which uh, goes in these transmissions. So we're going to put about five and a well five five and a half liters in, um, and then check the oil level. Um, about six liters came out, so we're just going to get it close to that, and it was a little bit over full. Here we go. We've warmed it up. Take for a test run, and you can see the the hot level mark there. It's on this little. I'll hold it with one here. There's, a, there's some lettering there that says hot, but the hot level mark is over here on that little shaded or crosshatch section there, where my thumb is. That's where the oil level mark is there, just at the end of my thumb. And don't forget to put that little bolt back in when you're finished. Put the bolt back in, and job's done. Thank you for watching.